Hello beautiful souls and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so very much for joining me here today. It's the Empress and in today's video we are looking at the energy that you need to embody to move forward or to move through any blockages that you may be experiencing. I am super excited to be doing this reading. I felt very inspired for this reading and I think it's going to come through a little bit differently than most of them do. So let's go ahead and get right into it guys. I am going to show you a close up of the card selection and I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each specific reading in the description box below along with the links to the cards that I'm using for anybody who may feel called to any decks that I use here today. You can also find the link to my Etsy store in the description box below. Just for warning with that, it is very minimal right now as I am in the process of building my own website and I will definitely keep you guys updated in regards to that. So with all of that being said, you guys, go ahead and pause the video if you still need a moment to choose your card and I am going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose card number one, the Page of Swords here, this reading is for you. And we are looking at the energy that you need to embody, you need to embrace in order to be able to move forward or into the next step of your journey. Um, and potentially for some of you, how to move through any blockages that you may be experiencing right now. So starting off here, group number one, the overall message of this page of swords that's coming through here is this need for a kind of fresh mind or even a beginner's mind but there's also there's also this kind of um essence of needing to be more carefree needing to really kind of let go of caring so much about certain things, which may even seem counterintuitive for some of you, depending on your situation and, and things like that. But what I'm really seeing here is kind of like this need to um, care less about the outcome, to care less about what you're going to get out of a certain situation or out of a certain action. There's something here for group number one about needing to 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 care less, okay? Um, that's like how this is coming through, like caring less about what I'm going to get out of it or how this is going to affect me or, how you know, that kind of energy, like really needing to let go of that. So there may be something that you guys are currently experiencing or going through or trying to accomplish for a specific thing to come back to you. And there's really this need to let go of either what it is that you want to come back to you or how it is that you want it to come back to you, depending on your situation. Um, so really embodying more of a carefree kind of energy for group number one is going to be super beneficial for you, as well as um, allowing yourself to kind of take actions or move forward without expectations of reciprocation. For some of you interesting so let's get some more cards going here for group number one and see what else we have come through for you we're going to start off with some oracle messages and then we'll get into some more tarot for you guys so group number one we have the shapeshifter coming out here um Okay, so group number one, what I'm really seeing here is that when you can let go of expectations, what it is that's meant to come in can flow in easier. I'm seeing the shapeshifter energy is kind of like almost very watery energy. Like you can't control the way a, a river winds and bends and kind of carves out the earth. You can't control... The path that the river chooses to flow um, and that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here for you guys is really letting go of this control of how the flow comes in but being open to receive um, blessings in almost like blessings in disguise or blessings in different ways than how you expected or how you wanted 
uh, very interesting. Uh, so I really feel for group number one, a big part of what may be blocking you on your journey right now is either what you are expecting to receive or how you're expecting to receive it. And there's a big need to kind of let go of those expectations to kind of look at things from a fresh perspective or with a kind of either a beginner's mind as well as um, just a new, a new, a new mindset, a new mind frame uh, surrounding this as well. Interesting. Let's see what else we have coming out for group number one. We have angels of the four directions. Um, So I really feel for group number one that you guys are really meant to receive a lot of abundance, a lot of validation, a lot of confirmation, a lot of blessings. But again, with like the four directions coming in here, there's something about like your blessings trying to come in in maybe a way that looks like something else and you're resisting it because you want a specific thing. That's a very strong message here. And under the deck here, we have the victim mentality. So I feel for a lot of you guys, there is some subconscious victim energies that may be part of what is blocking your blessings. And I love here, look in this window, we have the river um, kind of flowing into this window here. Um, so... Okay, so group number one, a big message coming through here is um, to really not allow yourself to sit in any emotions that make you feel like you are less than or that you aren't worthy or um, none of this like why me kind of energy or why isn't this happening or why hasn't this happened yet. There's a need to become aware of when and how you sit in those energies and really kind of break free from that mentality okay um that's a big message for you guys a very big message for you guys let's pull a couple more cards here and then we will get into your tarot group number one so we have the grave coming out here uh yeah so there's some pretty kind of heavy like scorpio energy coming into this pile so some of you may be scorpio sun moon rising or be dealing with a scorpio or just have um some heavy scorpio activations occurring within your chart right now but that is here and we have the ring coming out um So group number one, there is a message coming through here to be careful what you commit yourself to. Be careful of any contracts that you may sign um, because it's, it's again, it's like something here about it being very counterintuitive, like your blessings coming in in a very counterintuitive way where you're wanting a contract, you're wanting um, like a sign-on bonus, you're wanting a commitment, you're wanting somebody to offer a commitment to you. But I feel like where you're wanting this at is not in the right place, at least right now at this point in time in your life. Um, or maybe it's too soon. Like, it's almost like it's not time yet for you guys. It's not. Um, and there's a reason behind this, group number one. There is a reason behind this. There is something left to learn. There is something left to overcome. There is something for you to have to kind of embody and become in order to align to what it is you're meant to be contracted to. So, I, okay, so a couple of different messages for a couple of different people, I feel, in this group. Starting off, for those of you that are looking for a new career opportunity or job or like contract to freelance or to start your own business or wanting to... Um, sign a contract for a certain career path or um, anything like that. There is something here where you guys are, it, it almost feels very hyper-focused on a specific area, a specific title, um, or a specific job in general. And there's a need to kind of release that energy because I feel like you guys are meant for something that's similar, but has a different title or a different 
um, building or like something like that, that maybe you guys are overlooking because there's like a hyper focus on one thing here and you're not allowing anything else to come in in any other way. Um, for those of you that are looking for a relationship or a commitment in a relationship, there is a need to be aware of the need to court, the need to date, the need to allow um, energies and relationships to unfold naturally instead of trying to skip steps. You guys may have a, a pattern or a cycle in your life in regards to relationships where you go from zero to a hundred and then kind of wonder why they don't work out or why things don't work out or why um, this person isn't who you thought they were. There's something here for group number one, regardless of which way this is resonating, there's something here where there is more time needed between the start and the finish line and there is a need to release expectations of how long things are supposed to take or how things are supposed to come in for you. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get some tarot and see if we can't go a little deeper into this and in the energy you need to embody in order to step forward and the actions that you may need to take right now, group number one. So we have the star coming out. Yeah, so there's a need to look to the future and without... Okay, so there's a need to like, it's almost like setting a goal, but then allowing yourself to get there in whatever way spirit decides is necessary for you. Um, I, so there's really a need to let go, to, to be more carefree, to allow yourself to follow the twists and turns of the riverbank um, instead of looking for that like straight direct line, okay? Um, there is something with the star here. There is something that you guys are meant for. There is something that is very kind of destined or even like prophetic here. For you guys that you are meant to obtain, that you are meant to accomplish, that you are meant to come into union with, but it's not, it's in the future. Um, the time isn't now, so there's a need to stop trying to force things and really come into more of a carefree, go with the flow kind of energy. Wow, and then we have the devil coming out. Yeah, so you guys are being asked to break some cycles or some patterns or some habits before you're going to be ready to come into contact with this, um, as well as be aware of any kind of temptations that may be coming in and how they may distract you or make you think that it's something that's meant for you when it really isn't group number one. Um, and be honest with yourself there. I also feel for you guys here that the Saturn retrograde may be very significant for you in your ability to let go of trying to do things the same way or trying to force things to happen, as well as breaking free from cycles in like habitual behaviors in relationships and in your jobs. Some of you guys here may have found in your life that you have a hard time holding a job. You have a hard time um, holding a relationship, maybe even with commitment in general um, or anything that um, is like really long term. You may find that you get bored with it or, um, you know, you, you really need like a, a change of pace or... You expected it to go in a different direction or you expected it to bring more passion than it does. There's just something here for group number one where you guys um, are in this constant state of craving change or craving something new. And that's because the things that you've come into contact with aren't meant to stay in your life. They're meant to teach you how to transform and how to become... Uh, and integrate the, the the different aspects of yourself. I feel for you guys that there are a lot of, you guys aren't the kind of person that are like, well, I am this one thing. You guys might find that you have a lot of interests, that you have a lot of desires, that you have a lot of dreams, that you have a lot of ambitions that are very different from each other. Um, and those are all necessary because it's almost like all of it is going to come together in the future, but there's still different parts of yourself that you need to explore. Interesting. So big message here for group number one is to not get too attached to one specific outcome. And we have the four of wands. Um, so there's a need to gain stability to be able to stay grounded and gain stability and have this foundation 
even though things may change or, you know, it's almost like the sense of security, the sense of stability coming in here for you guys, even though things are still going to be changing for you. So I do feel for you guys that there's a need for something in your life. There, There's a need for a constant. Um, but I feel like whatever this constant is for you or whatever you're trying to make this constant be isn't in your best interest. Um, and I feel like that's kind of where you guys need to focus at in order to be able to move forward with your life. There is a need to kind of come into the sense of honesty and truth with yourself and realize that... Um, that stability, that security, that foundation that you're looking for is going to have to be something that you don't want to change in the future. So <laughs> that's something to be aware of. Be aware of any impulsive actions, any kind of um, actions that you feel tempted to take just on a whim. So there is a need, there's a need for balance here, group number one. There is a need to be more carefree and to be a little less controlling about how things turn out or the direction that you move in. But there's also a need to gain some sort of stability and foundation or constant within your life. So as you break free from certain habits or behaviors or cycles, group number one, there is a need to replace them with new habits and behaviors that are beneficial to you instead of detrimental to you. So what is it that makes you want to get up and go to work every day? What is it that allows you to think more clearly or more freely? Like there's really a need to get very like up close and personal with certain habits and patterns that you guys have so really kind of diving into the subconscious mind is going to be super beneficial for you guys what is the the foundational kind of basis of the mentality that you are are moving from right now there's a need to be able to see this like is it a victim mentality is it a lack mentality is it this mentality that you need to take the first thing that comes along out of this fear that nothing else will. Um, interesting. Let's get some more tarot here and clarify these a little bit and get a little clearer on the actions that you're meant to take right now. Group number one. We have the Nine of Cups coming out on top of the star. So what is it that actually makes you happy? I feel like group number one, you guys do a lot of things out of this need to fulfill like a duty or just because it's like um there's like this mindset of this is how things are done so this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now like I'm supposed to go to school I'm supposed to get a job I'm supposed to get married and it's like you just want to get through all of these major things because they're the things that kind of define whether or not you're successful in your mind somewhere there's that um, kind of mentality and you guys are really being asked to break free from that mentality and find what it is that actually makes you happy so that you don't want to leave it um, the three of wands coming out on the devil yeah there is a need to go beyond the shoreline here to go deeper to expand there's a need to expand to look further beyond what it is that you think you're supposed to do to okay so group number one you guys may really have a tendency to 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 take immediate action or like impulsive action or like do something like right now that's going to help you through an immediate situation but you're never looking at any sort of like longevity or any sort of like energies that are going to provide you the stability through more than just this one particular hard time that you're currently going through. There's definitely something here where you guys are being asked to look beyond the horizon, to look further, to expand your consciousness, to expand your awareness, and find something here that's going to help you not only through your immediate kind of maybe lack of financial support or lack of emotional support or whatever it is that you're seeking, but something that's going to support you beyond that immediate need that you have, however that comes through through for you. 
So there's something here for group number one about needing a kind of fresh, clear mind, but also this need to really think about what what is it that you want in your life long term? Um, not what's going to fix your immediate problem and then move on from there, but what is it that's going to bring you happiness um, or fulfillment long term here? Um, and then we have the wheel coming out on the four of wands. Yeah, see, you guys are really being asked to um, go outside of your comfort zone and find something that's going to bring you stability for a long amount of time instead of just taking this impulsive action to fix the immediate problem and not actually having to commit or um, continue working with anything or anybody after that problem is over. Um Interesting. Very interesting. Let's look at some guidance and advice from Spirit in regards to the actions you need to take moving forward with this. So we have the Ten of Wands. So group number one, your spirit guides are working very strongly with you to kind of get you to put the work in. To, I feel like for a lot of you guys here, you may get to a certain point in certain areas of your life, a certain point in relationships, in your jobs, in your creative endeavors, in certain projects or hobbies that you have. You get to a certain point where then you're required to expand, to grow, to learn, and then you leave it behind and you go find something else that comes by that is easy for you and you're there until it isn't easy anymore and then you move on and spirit is saying like you have to push through that part that makes you want to walk away you have to commit yourself to the learning process and to the growth process and to the process of expansion in order to get to the next level in anything in your life here at group number one wow and we also have here the ace of cups Um, and I feel like this is a big part of the reason why Spirit here is saying, like, you need to find something that is emotionally fulfilling for you, something that you love, because it's like something that you truly love, you're not going to give up on as easily here. So there's definitely a message here for group number one about, like, not giving up, but releasing expectations at the same time. Again, it's like this energy of a balance needed, like not allowing yourself to expect perfection your first try but also not trying to like force yourself or rush yourself to the finish line without perfecting your craft. Um, I hope that makes sense for you guys. I also feel for a lot of those, a lot of you guys that chose this pile, you may be going through like a, a, like a spiritual awakening right now, or even like a heart chakra awakening right now. Um, But there's definitely like a new perspective, a new mentality, uh, or an expansion of the mind trying to come in here for you guys. So there is a need to kind of think outside the box to be a problem solver, but to find a way to solve your problems almost like permanently instead of just dealing with the immediate danger or threat or problem. Um, let's go ahead here, group number one, and pull you one final message. One final message in regards to how to move forward or the energy you need to embody. Anything else that you need to see or hear or anything I may have missed for group number one. We have breathe. Break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. So there's really a need to, again, like expand. Allow yourself to go beyond the horizon allow yourself to take a breath of fresh air again there's like this fresh fresh perspective fresh mindset fresh ideas like f new ways of thinking that are necessary here in a very big way for group number one 
but this is what I'm seeing for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this reading. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number two, those of you that chose card number two uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, this reading is for you. And we are looking at the energy you need to embody, embrace, or see in order to be able to move forward or move through any blockages that you may be experiencing. So group number two, uh, big energy coming in from this Knight of Pentacles is needing to take action towards uh, sustainability. So what I mean by that group number two is maybe you've been quite hesitant to invest into your future. Maybe you have a hard time investing like large, larger sums of money, but there's something here that's very materialistic with the pentacles, but also like a need for action. There's a need for movement in your physical environment excuse me, in your physical environment um, and with your finances in particular in order for progress to happen. So you guys may have found that you've gotten to, uh, maybe you've gotten quite comfortable in your financial situation and you haven't um, really done a whole lot with it or allowed yourself to grow or expand in any way, shape or form out of fear of maybe messing up what you have or messing up a good thing. Um, as well as for some of you guys, this, this could definitely have to do with like moving homes or um, maybe buying a car or changing jobs, um, but there's definitely something here about needing to take action towards uh, more kind of financial security is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. So let's pull some cards here. We're going to pull a few oracle messages first and see what we have come out for group number two in regards to how to move forward. Um, and what energy you need to embrace. We have the cave. Uh, so I feel for a lot of you guys, this has to do with your home or a home-based business. You guys may be entrepreneurs and maybe you've gotten to a point within your business or within the growth of your business where you have become stagnant and you maybe feel like you can't invest anything else until more growth happens, but maybe you feel like more growth won't happen unless you invest more financial energy or resources in some way, shape, or form. And what Spirit is saying here for you guys is that the only way you're going to come into lack or not have enough is if you allow yourself to believe that. If you allow yourself to care so incredibly much about keeping a certain amount of finance, it's almost like four of pentacles energy coming through here, almost like hoarding or really holding on to every dime that you have out of fear of not having enough. Um, that's what's going to make you not have enough because you're not going to be putting your energy or your resources into the things that are going to help you grow. So if you stay where you're at, group number two, there's going to be no growth and there's going to be like no more income. Um, so there's a need to kind of invest and put time, energy, and resources into this in order for growth to occur. Interesting. And with the cave here too, um, there is definitely something here about a home. So for some of you guys, um, this could be surrounding like buying a new home or finding a like stability or a place to live or even like changing your environment. Um, that may be something that's very necessary for you guys in order to be able to move forward on your journey is allowing yourself to find a safe, stable, secure place to begin building on. Um, interesting. Let's go ahead here, group number two. We have optimism. Yeah, look at this. There is a need for the consciousness of optimism, group number two. Um, this is really about like your mindset and the way you maybe look at your resources or look at all of this abundance here and look at on this 
knight of pentacles she has all of this like in her basket like you guys have everything you need and there is a need to really embrace that and allow yourself to use what you have instead of holding on to it out of fear of more not coming in okay there's a need to be very positive very optimistic here for group number two especially when it comes to finances so with that there's a need to be okay with maybe spending or investing your money um on what you're trying to build so that it, it there's just like this need for trust that you will be replenished group number two so allowing yourself to invest and to spend and to grow um, what it is you're trying to grow without fear of nothing coming back to you, okay? Um, and I know that's easily, easier said than done, but that is what you are being asked to work on to really let go of having to have maybe a specific amount of money in the bank so that your anxiety is less... Um, but because of that mentality, you're not allowing yourself to like utilize your resources to the fullest potential that you could. That's really the message coming through here for group number two is to utilize the resources you have. Don't fear using them, okay? Um, let's go ahead here and pull some more cards. We have the journal, okay, and we have the locket. So group number two, there's something here about you guys like really almost, it's almost like hiding yourself away, um, keeping something hidden or something a secret. Some of you guys may be trying to save money in a secretive manner in order to be able to leave a certain situation or environment. Um, and if that resonates with you, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but if that resonates with you, Spirit is saying, um, don't give up because you will, you will get what you need. Uh, but for all of you guys here, those of you that are trying to buy a new home or a new, there's something here about like a sacred space, like having a sacred space that nobody else has access to that, um, seems significant for you guys so that may be something that you need to kind of work on building even if it's just a room or a place out in nature um, a place that you can go to kind of journal or to get your mind right to get into this more optimistic um, persona so that you can plan so that you can organize so that you can budget so that you can move forward in a way that is practical but still creating movement instead of staying still out of this fear okay um let's go ahead and get into some tarot and go a little deeper into the energy for you to embody um group number two and the actions that maybe you could be taking right now we have the look at this you guys four of pentacles didn't I just say that? The very first tarot card out, the Four of Pentacles, holding on to what you have so tightly that you don't allow yourself to grow. It's, it's, it's to the point here, group number two, where you are trying to save, trying to kind of hoard or like get a stockpile of resources. But because you're holding on to it so tightly, not only are you not letting anything go, but you're not letting anything come in either. Um, so there needs to be like way more of an open kind of flow in regards to being open to give and receive. Okay. Um, Some of you guys may need to like give, get practice giving, even if it's just your time. Well, I say just your time, like that's not a value, but you know, it, it start there so that it doesn't like physically cost you money. If that's really where your fear is at, like there's something here about needing to be more open to give your time, your energy, your resources. Um, interesting. And then we have the Four of Cups. Wow, you guys, there is a huge kind of stagnant energy here. Not allowing yourself to move, not allowing yourself to...
to grow. Um, and again, it's like this, this sense of contentment or the sense of, well, I finally made it to this spot, to this thing, to this one milestone. And it meant so much to me that I just want to stay here because if I move, I'm scared I might lose it. Um, it's called, it's, it's caused a lot of stagnancy, a lot of stagnancy group number two emotionally and physically I feel for you guys like this emotional stagnancy is like staying in this constant state of dissatisfaction really because there was a satisfaction when you obtained this goal or this particular financial state or this particular thing um, but now it's like you've become bored with it but now you're in this constant state of fear and you, you stay in this constant state of dissatisfaction and of fear because you're refusing to move. I hope that makes sense for you. And then we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, so there is a need for new motivation, for new actions, for something exciting in your life, group number to, there's a need for something exciting in your life to find something that really excites you and begin moving towards that and maybe investing in that or allowing yourself to you know be inspired by whatever that is we have this optimism here and there's a true need for group number two to really embody this state of optimism and embody this state of movement allowing yourself to move forward um to reach for growth, to reach for expansion, to reach for more instead of staying where you're at out of fear of having less. Let's pull some clarifiers here. Group number two. Oh my gosh, we have the Four of Pentacles on the Four of Pentacles, you guys. So there is like the sense of withholding or holding back or even maybe it may come off to other people. I'm not saying that this is intentional, so please don't take it as that. But it may even come off to other people as maybe being very selfish or self-involved or self-entitled because you are so scared of letting go of what I feel you've worked very hard for group number two like there's no doubt here that you've worked very hard to get to where you're at maybe you came from a very poor family from poverty from um, having nothing and you've kind of worked your way up that ladder and now you've gotten something sustainable something of value to you and it's like you're holding on to it for dear life um not allowing anything to add to it but also not allowing anything or anyone to take from it um king of cups coming out on the four of cups yeah so there's really a need to get control of this this um, constant state of, of dissatisfaction. There's really a need to come more in control of your emotional state and not allow your emotional state to control you. Um, and what I mean by that is when you find yourself in this sense of boredom, in the sense of dissatisfaction, I feel for a lot of you guys, you may use that as a reason or as an excuse to kind of It's almost like you use it to stay where you're at instead of as motivation to get out of where you're at. You use it as a reason to continue being negative, as a reason to continue living in fear. As a, It's almost like a validation for you that you shouldn't move from where you're at or you shouldn't try to do anything else or to grow or to expand. And that's really that fear controlling you. Um... There's a need here, group number two, for you guys to hold space um, instead of filling your space with everything that you have and all of the disappointment that you have and all of the 
um, kind of dissatisfaction that you have. There, there's something here about needing to hold space for others. And this could be kind of what I was picking up on, on this need to give as well. Um, some of you guys may need to seek some sort of maybe, you know, an accountant or um, some of you, this could be more emotional and need like counseling or therapy. Um, but what I'm really seeing here is like needing somebody to allow somebody in that can help you see that there is still so much room for growth and that you don't have to stay where you're at. Um, there's a need for holding space for others, for giving to others, but also I, I feel for a lot of you guys here that an accountant um, would be very beneficial for you because it would take a lot of that stress off of your shoulders. It would take that out of your awareness um, more so. I'm not saying completely, but if you had an accountant that dealt with the bills, that dealt with the finances, and you weren't drowning yourself in that energy every single day, that would, I feel, really help you kind of ease the fear or the anxiety or the stress surrounding those energies and allow you to focus more on other things, on the things that excite you and that um, inspire you. So there's a need to find inspiration. What will inspire you to invest, to grow, to give, to expand? Um, instead of just keeping yourself locked where you're at. Because that's really what I'm feeling for you guys. Let's pull another card. We have the Page of Pentacles on the Page of Wands. Yeah, there is definitely a need to give more freely, and I feel like that in itself is really going to help you feel more excited and more optimistic and more lighthearted. Um, be a little bit more carefree with your financial situation. Um, a, a bit more giving, a bit more... relaxed there's just this need for a lot of relaxation surrounding your fight financial or physical environment here group number two um, in order for you to be able to move forward let's go ahead here and get some guidance or advice for any actions that you should be taking right now for you group number two okay we have the moon yeah, and that's that fear. That's that feeling like you're drowning. Um, a lot of you guys may feel like you're drowning in debt even or like you're drowning in responsibility or like you, uh, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear here that maybe you try to hide from other people. Um, so there's really a need to be like more open even if it's just like more open emotionally, more open about the stress or the anxiety that you feel like you're under. There's like this pressure here, group number two, feeling like you're under pressure all the time. And there's a need to kind of find something that will help you ease that pressure, finding a hobby, finding inspiration, finding excitement, traveling, um, you know, treating yourself, investing into yourself, caring for yourself, using what you've worked so hard for to bring something positive into your life instead of allowing yourself to drown in this constant state of responsibility. Wow. Okay, and then we have the four of swords. So we have three of the four fours <laughs> coming out here. The only one we're missing is the four of wands, which is probably the most positive four card in the deck. Um, but we have the four of swords here, and this talks about um, you know, changing your mind, easing your mind, allowing yourself to rest the mind. And, and this also acknowledges like the stress and the anxiety. Um, and I love in this deck, she's in this like bird nest here. And I feel for a lot of you guys that this is this stress and this anxiety has everything to do with your environment, with your home, with your nest, with your kind of, um, nest egg that you're trying to build and grow and expand but you have to allow it to grow and expand, and that means working with it. That means giving some away. That means being open to receive, being open to give, um, practicing gratitude. Gratitude journal would be very beneficial for you guys, and maybe like journaling your thoughts, journaling all the things that maybe you feel like you are holding back. Um, 
Yeah, there's a strong sense of holding back here that you guys are really being asked to work through, especially in regards to physical resources. Um, why do you hold back? Why do you hold it in? Um, that's, that's going to be very helpful for you guys to find out how to move forward and how to give and how to grow and how to expand and how to become more optimistic and more excited, more motivated to try new things. Okay. Um, so a big, big message for you guys here is to really get yourself into a mental state where you are willing and open and excited to try new things without fearing that, well, if I do this, then I'm going to not have enough for this thing. Um, so we have some cancer energy on the board, which is the fourth house as well, um, which rolls over the home and uh, the mother. So a lot of you guys may really have um, a lot of cancer energy within your chart or you know this could definitely have to do with you know being a parent and the pressures of financially supporting children or other people regardless of who they are. Um, that may be something that you guys are struggling with too or maybe you're living with somebody else and feel like they have to support you. Um, interesting. And we also have Pisces energy here uh, with the moon. The moon always for me as a reader personally brings up cancer first and, and that's because the moon is the ruling planet um, of cancer. But the moon in the tarot is actually representative of Pisces energy, um, which is 12th house energy, which is very spiritual and um, all about kind of like divine love and spiritual essence. Um, so that's very interesting. Anyways, we have Pisces and Cancer energy here. I'm going to... Uh, just read both of them out of that card because there is strong cancer energy here um, regardless of your birth sign or anything like that it's just the energy of that sign that's present in this reading like I feel like a lot of stress like a mother or a father would have about taking care of a family or making sure there's stability and security and everybody is fed and clothed and like it's all of these stresses of the life that you wanted that are keeping you stagnant. Interesting. Anyways, let's get one final message, group number two. One final message from Spirit in regards to the energy you need to embody um, to move forward here. And we have rescue. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. Look at how freaking perfect is that, group number two. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. Um, that is like, make that your motto, write it down, put it on your mirror, write it on your mirror and lipstick it, like put it in front of you to remind yourself that it's okay to help other people, even if maybe it takes away from something that you have and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. Um, that's nothing to be ashamed of. So interesting reading. This is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number two. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this reading. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose the Queen of Wands, this reading is for you. And we are looking at the energy that you need to embrace or embody in order to step into the next phase of your journey or in order to move through any blockages that you may have been experiencing. So group number three, with the Queen of Wands here, what I'm really getting is the sense of needing to maintain or maintenance your energy. So for some of you guys, this could definitely have to do with maintaining your physical health and kind of like vitality. For some of you guys, there's like this energy of burnout, of needing to rest, of needing to allow yourself to be re-energized, this need to maintenance the self um, as well as to really embody any personal power. Coming into your reading, I was getting this strong sense of 
the five of wands of maybe you've been in some sort of argument or conflict or disagreement or competition, um, regardless of whether that was like negative energy based or uh, like a productive competition or whatever it was. There's just something here that's really exerted your energy and there is a need to maintenance your energy now. Um, as well as to really embody your personal power, um, to really focus on your internal energy and how you're feeling and maybe what you're eating, um, as well as how you're interacting with others. There's a need to maybe maintenance some relationships or the way you're communicating in relationships. There is a need to kind of beware or avoid any kind of drama or gossip at this time because those are things that are going to drain your energy even more, group number three. Um, very interesting. Let's go ahead and shuffle out some oracle messages for you and uh, see what else we have for you guys and then we'll get into your tarot so group number three we have eros um and really what i'm getting from this image here is this need to be very mindful of your words and of the energy or intention behind the words that you're speaking um, a lot of you guys here may have a, a kind of habit of saying something and it coming true. Um, <laughs> and there's a need to be aware of that right now because that is something that may be very enhanced for you at this point in time. But I am going to go ahead and take a look in the book for this specific card for you guys. Okay, so this is one of those cards that I always feel the need to look up because I kind of, I don't know, doubt myself with it. So that may be something coming through for you guys as well as like really needing to work on your self-esteem and self-doubt kind of energies and how maybe you doubt yourself and then once something comes to pass, you're like, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and you could have maybe better prepared for it or really invested into it depending on the situation if you would have just trusted yourself. So there is a need for embodying like some self-confidence as well here. Um, but here this card talks about, it says through Eros we can be depicted as unbridled sexuality and eroticism. A more contemplative understanding of this archetypal energy leads us to the root of desire itself. What do we long for? Why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, plants, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite. Our heart embraces otherness, and in doing so, we further understand our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an inevitable initiation into love's labyrinth. You may find yourself swirling in a new territory of desire and sensuality. Explore the labyrinth with a curious but honest heart. And remember, though the way is circuitous, I'm sorry, though the way is circuitous, we are always being led towards its center and that's the labyrinth the labyrinth is kind of that spiral maze for those of you who may not know so we're always being led inward again like i said there's something with your internal power here and that makes total sense that message makes total sense with the queen of wands because the queen of wands can be very kind of sexual and desire and intimate kind of energy as well so, like I said um, in the beginning, there's something here, like, the the image that I kept seeing was of the Five of Wands of this particular deck. So, again, there may have been some sort of conflict or argument, especially in any sort of romantic relationship or um, maybe even a separation. Um, or this could even be in regards to, like, leaving a job. But there's something here about needing to maintain and maintenance your energy in order to come into, like, the sense of desire and empowerment group number three interesting let's go ahead and continue here with your cards and see what else comes forth for you guys group number three
dark thoughts. Yeah. So there's definitely something here. And I love how it's showing this maze. Um, a lot of you guys may have a lot of um, kind of pent up energy um, or even anger with this fire energy here in regards to relationships. Um, you may be thinking very low of yourself right now too and I feel like the thoughts that you're having are kind of reflecting your own energetic state internally. So that may be something um, to become aware of, but there's definitely something here about needing to take care of yourself, about making sure that you're eating, making sure that you're sleeping, anything that has to do with your energy levels, making sure that you are maintaining that. Um, and a lot of the times, you know, if we slip into depression of any kind or any kind of sadness or grief or um, failure or lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, any kind of energies like that, we tend to start neglecting ourselves because we begin to believe that we aren't worthy of our own energy. Um, so that's uh, pretty deep and kind of intense energy coming forth for you guys here, but that's what I'm seeing um, in regards to the energy you're needing to embody or embrace in order to move forward. So there's some healing here, really being asked to focus on your internal energetic levels, group number three. Wow, we have the letter and we have clouds. And so what I'm really feeling with this group number three is that somebody left you. This could have been through social media. This could have been a text. This could have been a message. This could have been a letter, um, you know, but I feel like somebody kind of sent you some sort of message or had some sort of conversation with you that left you feeling very low, that left you feeling very confused, very unsure about how to move forward. Um, it's just somebody else's words have impacted you in a very deep level recently. Um, and even if that wasn't the main cause for this, um, need for maintenance. I feel like it is a large contributing factor. It may have been a cataclyst or it may have been the most recent kind of thing that impacted your energetic levels. Uh, but let's go ahead here and get some tarot for you guys and see what the cards have to say in regards to the energy that you need to embrace and why in order to be able to move forward for group number three. We have the hanged man. Yeah, so it's like, and I love this. Um, he's sitting here with his phone, just waiting, just waiting to hear back, just waiting for that message. And okay. Um, and I feel like that may be where you guys are at right now is just waiting to hear from somebody, waiting to hear back, waiting for somebody to tell you how they really feel, just sitting around waiting for somebody to make you feel worthy or to make you feel better. So you guys have given your power away. You guys have given your, you, it's almost like you you have your self-worth based off of whether or not this person or these people respond to your text messages or think that you're pretty or uh, want to have some sort of relationship with you. Um, group number three, you may have found that throughout your life, maybe you've based your self-worth off of your sexual energies and whether or not people wanted to interact with that. Um, so you guys may be going through some sort of kind of awakening to preserve your energy and to become more aware of who or what you are exchanging your energy with. So if anybody is um, ghosting you, that's kind of what I'm feeling here, that somebody, somebody may be ghosting you um, or anybody who leaves you hanging or leaves you feeling less important, um, that's happening for a reason. And the reason is so that they don't have access to your energy anymore. Um, Wow, and then we have the Two of Cups coming out here. So 
So you guys are looking for love, but I feel for a lot of you guys, you've been, you maybe been in a lot of, uh, maybe narcissistic or very self-centered kind of relationships or even kind of toxic relationships. Um, and, and it's really affected your self-worth, your self-esteem, your confidence, your, your internal energy. Um, you guys are looking for love and anything outside of love is being, It, there's there's interference there it's it's like um you know anybody that's like oh my battery died that's why i didn't respond or uh, they just leave you on red or they don't respond or they stand you up or anything like that it's because it's not in alignment with the actual love that you're looking for anymore and somewhere along the line whether it be subconsciously or you're consciously aware of it you must have made a decision to no longer allow anybody or anything to distort your energy or to take from you in any sort of negative relationship kind of energy um so there's something here about making your body sacred like your physical body and your physical connections making that sacred for you group number three um there is love coming in and i feel like that is kind of where you're meant to be going next in in your life in your journey or that's where your focus is at um, but there's a need to understand that anybody that doesn't respond or that doesn't hit you back or that doesn't want a second date, it's because it's not meant for you. It's not because you're not worthy. It's not because you're not good enough. It's not because you're not pretty enough. Uh, the Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very attractive. Um, so just don't base, like, don't beat yourself up when these people do this i feel for you guys you it weighs it impacts you very heavily when people do things like this because it starts making you doubt yourself and it's not you it's the universe aligning you to something that actually matches your worth that is actually meant for you that is going to help you grow and going to support you and love you instead of use you that's wow So anybody that makes you doubt whether or not you're good enough needs to leave your life. Okay, group number three. Wow, and then we have the Ace of Cups. So that you have room for new love. So that you have room for real love. For true love. For true union. There is a union here. Almost like soulmate type energy coming in here. So there's a need to stop waiting on other people to see your worth because the right person will automatically be drawn to you. Um, stop There's a, stop wasting your time on all these kind of, pardon my language, but all these fuck boys. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. That energy. Stop wasting your time. So let's get some clarifiers here. You know, focus on you, focus on your energy, focus on your health and your worth and those kinds of energies. And, you know, maybe stop looking so hard for that person that's going to make you feel better about yourself and start putting the energy into yourself that's going to make you feel better about yourself. Okay, uh, let's get some clarifiers. Why is the hanged man here? We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, there's some sort of like illusionary energy where somebody's maybe making you feel like they want your attention, making you feel like they want to connect with you, but then leave you feeling very confused and disoriented and um, not really sure of where their intentions are at or where they're trying to go. I feel that energy so strongly for you guys. There's a need to cut that off. Um Next, we have the Knight of Swords coming out on the Two of Cups. Yeah, okay, I love this. I love this so much. So the person whom you're meant to connect with here will chase you. Like, they will not, they will not ghost you. They will not let you wait. They will, like, charge in. They will respond immediately. They will be excited to talk to you. They will be excited to have real conversations with you um they're not going to be those people that ask for pictures they're not going to be that person that 
makes you wonder whether or not they actually want to converse or whether or not they actually want to go on this date with you. They're not going to make you question them, okay? They're going to make sure that you don't question them. They're going to take action. Love is a verb and love is an action. Love is a thing that you do and they are going to do that. So anybody that you doubt feels a certain way about you, let it go. Um, wow. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Strength. Yes. There is a power in some sort of love, some sort of relationship, some sort of emotional state that you guys are being asked to obtain. And I absolutely love how beautifully these inner, these two cards go together here because it's like this is you and your need to maintain your strength and your power and your personal will and your confidence and your self-esteem and this here is that energy within you that you are being asked to embody um so really yeah focusing on strengthening yourself, strengthening your energy, replenishing your energy, um, having the courage to turn people down or to cut people off and to have healthy boundaries when they make you feel less than or they make you doubt that they actually want anything to do with you. No. Boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Don't let people play with you. Don't let people play with your energy. Don't let people play with your heart. Okay, don't let people play with your self-esteem, your self-worth, your confidence. So maintain your power, maintain your strength, maintain your boundaries. Group number three. Let's get some guidance, some guidance or advice or actions you should be taking right now for group number three. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh, you know, treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you. The Queen of Pentacles, to me, always screams self-worth, knowing your worth, knowing that you're worth the very best of everything. You're worth the name brand. You're worth the, you know, the the flowers for the first date. You're worth the uh, extravagant five-star restaurant. You are worth that, group number three, and you are being asked to begin living that way in order to attract that person that's going to see that worthiness in you that's going to be willing to accept that instead of make you feel like you should accept less okay don't settle and then we have the four of pentacles yeah so there's really a need here to not allow anybody or anything to take from you right now, not allowing anybody to take your energy, not allowing anybody to take your resources or your time, not allowing people to waste your time, energy, or resources, okay? Cutting that out of your life and embodying this knowingness that you are worthy of love, that you are worthy of, um, you know, time, you are worthy of being wined and dined you are worthy of being treated like a queen group number three regardless of gender you are worthy of being treated like royalty okay so let's pull you one final message here one final message group number three any last guidance or advice or anything i may have missed in regards to the energy you need to embrace to move forward we have <laughs> communicate. Things left unsaid will never reach the shore. So I do feel for some of you guys that there may be somebody trying to come back or trying to reconnect or reconcile um, that you may have some things you need to say, that you may need closure in some certain relationships or connections that you've had, but allow it to be that. Allow yourself to state your peace and let it go regardless of how people respond or whether or not they do respond, there is a need to say your truth, to speak your truth, and let it go. Um, there is a huge emphasis on the way people are communicating with you or not communicating with you. 
here. Um, so just be aware of that. Anybody who is ghosting you or communicating to you in a way that makes you feel less than or in any sort of manipulative way, there's really a need to, to cut that off, to let it go. Um, say what you have to say. State your boundaries. Anybody who doesn't respect those boundaries needs to be let go of. Um, so this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number three. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number four. Those of you that chose card number four with the King of Pentacles, this reading is for you. And we are looking at the energy you need to embody, embrace, or acknowledge in order to move forward into the next step on your journey or through any blockages that you may be experiencing at this time. So group number four with this particular King of Pentacles, an energy that I'm really getting is like this need for help, this need um, so what, okay, so what I mean by that is like this essence of, um, hiring your first employees, kind of, I need help, like this, um, kind of boss or managerial type energy where you are bringing other people in to complete a task with or for you. Um, so this may be something that is, uh, very prominent for you in the next phase of your journey. Maybe you're needing to bring somebody into your life, into your business, into your home to help you kind of accomplish some goals or to reach some deadlines. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead here and get into some Oracle messages and see what else comes out for group number four and see, uh, what we get here. Group number four. Wow, we have the Venom coming out here, and we also have the Flame that wants to peek out as well, so I am just going to kind of acknowledge that, um, the Mentor on the bottom of the deck. So what I really get from that, group number four, is this essence of really needing to be very mindful of the people that you allow into your business or your home to help you accomplish certain things. What I'm really getting, getting from this is um, maybe only hiring people who know more than you do so that they can teach you how to grow, how to expand, and they can add to your business or to your goal. Um, being very mindful of anybody who wants to take advantage of your success. That is something coming in here quite strongly with the Venom card being the one that is staying out. Be very aware of anybody or anything around you that really wants to take away from your success or make you, maybe even make you look bad or... Um, so there's a need to be aware of appearances right now, to be aware of... Um, the way your business or your home or yourself is being represented. Um, interesting. So some of you guys maybe need to become more aware of the company that you're keeping or of certain employees or people whom are meant to be helping you because I feel some of you guys here have some people around you that are only there for the fame or success or spotlight or recognition they're there for their own personal interests which you know when we have a job and things like that yes we're there for a paycheck in our own personal interests for us to be able to grow and invest into our own lives but i feel that this is more toxic than that this is more about like envious jealous type energy wanting to take the spotlight away from you or take your success away from you and make it look like it's theirs or make it look like they thought of it first or um, that kind of energy coming in here quite strong. So that is quite interesting. Let's go ahead here, group number four, and see what else we have. So there's a need to maintain control of your image, of your product, of your home, of your business. Wow, we have kindred partnership. So some of you guys, wow, um, 
And the bottom of the mat, the bottom of the deck, we have behind a mask. So some of you guys here, there is somebody who is presenting themselves to be supportive and happy for your success, but they are secretly feeling very jealous or envious of you. But what I really feel here for you guys is that this next phase, this next step in life is about coming into union with a business partner, a financial investor, or a maybe a potential spouse or partner that is meant to go into business with you. Interesting. So there is kind of this message here to be aware of any like money hungry people or allowing anything like that into your circle, into your reality. Hmm. We have the clouds. Yeah, there's some sort of illusion here and the stars. Um, there's some sort of somebody around you guys that is making things look better than what they are. They're making things look different than what their true intentions are internally. And there's need to be aware of that. This is number six. This is number 16. So um, with that, there is... There's almost like this message of not taking the first thing that comes along or really like doing your homework or really trying to find the best match for where you see your future going instead of where you're at right now. That is a message that's coming through as well. But there is this huge kind of message for you guys to make sure that you're maintaining your composure, your reputation, and the way other people view you. Um... Because I just feel somebody around you guys trying to distort your success or your reputation or um, your image in some way, shape, or form. Because they see your potential here. And you guys that chose this pile do have potential. You are meant to be a star. You are meant to be recognized. You are meant to be in the spotlight or successful or in the public eye in some way, shape, or form. Which I feel is why this kind of... Um, reputation message is coming through here so strongly. Um, so really kind of building your reputation up and being aware of any toxic energy, jealous, envious energies that are surrounding you and how that may impact your reputation in the future. Um, I just got the anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So group number four, there may be... Um, Somebody spreading some sort of rumor about you. Huh. Let's go ahead and get into your tarot here and see what else comes out for you guys and the energy you need to embody, embrace um, in order to move forward through any blockages. We have strength, boundaries. We have the Empress protecting your investments, protecting your creations, protecting what you're growing, the business, the the home, the life, whatever that is for you. And we have the Magician. Oh my God. Group number four. Uh, all three major Arcana cards here. And then we had four come out and this one's Death. So four freaking major Arcana cards coming out for you guys. That's intense and I don't know why I feel the need to put it on this side but that's where it's going so there is a very transformative there's a need to transform your boundaries and in order to create um some sort of manifestation um so some of you guys may find that your manifestations are being very blocked right now and I feel like a big part of it is because your environment and the people around you or the people around you or a specific person depending on your situation like there's a need to reinforce boundaries to transform your environment to transform your circle the people you surround yourself with um that's playing a big role in what is coming in for you um wow so we have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Mercury, Gemini, Virgo energy. Um, very interesting energies coming through here for you guys. There is um, 
some energy surrounding family here. Some of you guys may be trying to build a family. Um, some of you guys, this kind of toxicity that needs to be addressed may be about somebody trying to break up your family. Um, somebody trying to manipulate their way into your circle. Um, somebody may be spreading rumors about some sort of betrayal or, um, wow. So that message is coming through here very strongly to, like, be careful who you trust. You know, uh, keep your friends close. I, I don't, don't keep your enemies closer. That's not a thing. Um, group number four, I know there's like that saying, you know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. No. Um, no. <laughs> don't do that. So if you find that there are certain people around you that you have around you just because you want to keep an eye on them, you need to, like, draw the line in the sand there. You need to let go of anybody or anything who may potentially cause harm to your public image, to your business, or to your family or home life in regards to, like, reputation or spreading rumors or lies or anything like that. Um... I feel like there's some sort of energy around you that it's almost like vam vampire energy, like draining the energy, um, you know, sustaining themselves off of the energy they get from you or your family or your spouse or your partner or your business partner or whatever it is um, that is keeping you from being able to manifest like your next real big kind of goal or accomplishment. For some of you guys, there is a need to be aware of going into business with anybody without a contract or specific guidelines or boundaries um, on ownership and things like that. Wow. Let's go ahead and pull some more tarot and clarify this a little bit for group number four. Wow. Wow. So why is the death card here? We have the four of wands. Somebody's trying to break up some sort of partnership, some sort of union. That That's very, very clear here. Somebody is trying to rock the boat. And maybe you're not aware of that, group number four. So there's just a need to be aware that maybe not everybody around you has the best of intentions for you. Um, or maybe you do know that, but either way, why is strength here? We have the Nine of Swords. So there is a need to not get trapped in overthinking about what power other people have over you with their words or with their actions. Uh, need to not get stuck in any sort of anxiety or stress or insomnia. Again, that's kind of how this power and this energy gets drained from you is by getting under your skin. So whatever this is, like again, like reinforce your boundaries and don't allow anybody to get under your skin. Don't allow anybody to make you act out of character. Group number four. Wow. Why is the Empress here? We have the Four of Pentacles. I really feel for a lot of you guys that chose this pile, you're trying to build a business. You're trying to... Inv I feel for a lot of you guys, maybe the next step with this particular King of Pentacles, it's almost like he's in his garage, right? Like he's working from home or from a home-based business, which may be why like home and business energies are coming up here. I feel like for you guys, especially if that resonates for you, the next step here is about like buying a separate building or a separate entity to separate your home and business. There's like some sort of savings, some sort of investment being made here that's going to help you expand in what it is that you're doing, whether this is expanding your home, your family life, having children, like buying a bigger house, or whether this is buying a building, a building like a studio or a workshop or a business um, to actually like do your work or sell your product out of to separate it from your home. I feel like that is what is trying to come in for you here. Um, but there's a need to really not allow anybody to get under your skin, not allow anybody to make you act out of character, not allow anybody to make you stoop to their level, okay? Um, why is the magician here? 
Hierophant. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. You guys look at then then you guys are elevating. Um, and as you are being prepared to go up the staircase here, there are going to be people that try to pull you back down. Um, there are going to be energies that try to pull you back, that try to keep you where you're at, that try to keep you stagnant out of jealousy, out of anger, out of spite, out of uh, their own lack of self-esteem, out of their own um, beliefs and their own ideas. There are there are people around you that are going to try to hold you back in some way, shape, or form, whether it's intentional or not. And there's just this need, this huge need for you guys, group number four, to be aware of it. Oh, be aware of who's trying to hold you back, who is holding you back, who is making you feel out of character, who is making you feel um, stressed or anxious or who's trying to maybe rock the boat or shake things up or start any drama or gossip within your life. There's a need to enforce the boundaries with that, whatever that means for you. Wow, that is such a strong message here, group number four. So if you find that isn't resonating, maybe try to pick a different pile. Let's go ahead here and see uh, what kind of guidance or advice or actions you should be taking right now, group number four. We have the chariot. You guys are meant to move. It, like right now, like spirit, the universe is preparing you for a move, for an expansion, for growth, whether it be in your actual family with children or a bigger home, like I said, or whether it be, you know, growing your business um, or buying like that building or that studio. Um, and with the chariot here, a lot of the times this is about like, you know, fighting for that group number for there's something here about needing to fight for what you want to fight for this expansion and i feel like what that means for you guys is like really fighting to go where you're trying to go without letting anybody kind of pull you off course or make you look like a fool there's something here about like somebody trying to make you look like a fool um so just be aware of that. If you come into contact with that energy, just pay it no mind. Don't let it get under your skin. Don't let anybody tell you you aren't good enough or that you're bad at what you do or that, you know, so-and-so did this or tell you any lies or anything like that. Focus on what you're trying to create and draw the line when it comes to anybody trying to come in and manipulate you and get under your skin in any way, shape, or form, group number four. And then we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. The Two of Swords is about cutting out any external voices and listening to that internal voice. This is about trusting your intuition. This is about trusting your own ideas and your own thoughts and the things that you want and not allowing anybody's opinions or advice to alter your course of action. Um, wow. So again, very specific message here for you guys. Very specific. Um, let's go ahead here, group number four, and pull you one final message. Any last guidance or advice or anything I may have missed in regards to how you can move forward or what you need to embrace, the energy you need to embrace to move forward with, group number four. Flow. We have let your worries drift away. Yeah, let anything that isn't in your best interest or that isn't in alignment with where you want to go, let it, let it go. Let it go and just continue going with the flow to grow and expand and flow into your abundance and your magic here. There is a major manifestation trying to come in for you guys. There's just like this huge warning here to not allow anybody or anything to get under your skin or to knock you off course out of their own jealousy or envy or spite or whatever it is. Um, interesting. But this is what I'm seeing from my beautiful group number four. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please do hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know if you chose this pile. Let me know what other kinds of readings you guys would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!